I push a lot of boundaries and I want to do a lot of things that you don't normally see people in wheelchairs doing because I want to do them with my kids. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm an advocate, a lawyer, a Team Canada athlete, and a mom. I have a genuine desire to do a lot of things. Following my injury at 21, there were years when I couldn't do much. I simply didn't accept when people told me, probably accurately, that I should think about something twice or take my time. I didn't feel like I had any time to waste, and so I just pushed forward and tried to make the most of, of every day. I spent a lot of those years thinking about when I was finally strong enough, these are the places I'm going to go and this is what I'm going to get done. I had the opportunity to take the time to shape my life how I wanted it to look with my disability. Growing up able-bodied in the interior of British Columbia was amazing. I had no limitations. I could do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I grew up in Kamloops. So much of my youth around Kamloops was spent in the woods by myself. Nobody. <laughs> I learned so much. It made me feel capable and strong. I learned how to get out of situations and rely on myself. There's a cool energy to Kamloops. We are so lucky with where we live. Our access to nature is unparalleled. We have got mountains and rivers and lakes all within a 15 minute drive of downtown. Kamloops has this kind of hilarious, understated, overachieving culture to it. There are so many people that are always giving back to our community and making it an awesome place. Growing up as an athlete was awesome because following my spinal cord injury, I was able to approach it with the mindset of, all right, here's the new game. I got some new equipment. Let's go. I'm grateful I was able to connect back with adapted sports so quickly. In particular, it was amazing to be connected back with female disabled athletes who were all doing incredible things, kicking butt and taking names. And they taught me so much about navigating life with a visible disability as a young woman and navigating the professional world. It can often feel like there's not a roadmap out there for disabled people. We're not very visible in a lot of places. There's nobody that hands you a book that says, you're now disabled, here's everything you need to know about terminology, the disability movement, how to handle strangers who ask you odd questions. Don't be surprised when I show up in the campground. Don't be surprised when I show up in the courtroom. Don't be surprised when I show up in the airport. Don't be surprised when I show up on the ski hill. Be cool, everyone. I want more things to be inclusive and accessible for everyone. I want to be able to do all the things with my friends and my family and my children.